Hello traders and welcome to Trade with Ali Akbar. In today's video, I explore the critical role of leading and lagging indicators in trading. Leading indicators such as RSI and Stochastic help traders anticipate market movement by signaling potential reversal or continuation before they occur. These tools are invaluable for those looking to enter or exit trades early, maximizing profit opportunities. On the other hand, lagging indicators like the simple moving average SMA and the MACD indicator confirm trends providing traders with the confidence that a trend is well established before taking action. I'll demonstrate how combining both types of indicators can offer a more holistic view of market conditions, enhancing your ability to make informed trading decisions. Through practical examples and clear explanations, this video will guide you on how to effectively use these indicators to improve your trading strategies. First, lagging indicators. Lagging indicators are known as trend following indicators, which are actively following price movements and are considered to be more reactive. They provide signals after a trend has already started which is why they are sometimes called confirmatory indicators. Here's a list of few common lagging indicators widely used in technical analysis. First, moving averages. Simple moving averages SMA and exponential moving average EMA are both smooth out price data to identify trends over a specific period. Second, Bollinger Band. Bollinger Band consists of a middle band SMA20 and two outer bands representing two standard deviation away from the middle band SMA20, which helps identify volatility and potential price reversal. And finally, third, MACD indicators, moving average convergent divergence measures the relationship between two moving averages and is used to identify changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of the trend. Let's dive deeper into lagging indicators with some practical examples to illustrate their impact on trading decisions and profitability. The first thing I'm going to talk about is lagging indicator, like simple moving average SMA50. In this slide, I'm analyzing the FRU stock on a daily time frame with the SMA50 applied to the chart. SMA50 is a widely recognized lagging indicator that smooths out price data over a set number of period like 50 in this case. It helps us determine the overall direction of the trend by filtering out short-term fluctuations. As you can see, the price consistently remained above the SMA 50 line, indicating that the market is in a strong upward trend. When the price stay above the SMA 50, it is a strong signal that the bulls are in control and that the market is trending higher. There are two critical mom moments on this chart where the price touches the SMA 50 line and then bounce off continuing its upward movement. These points are ideal opportunities to enter a trade. First entry point. The first time the price touches the SMA 50 right here and bounce off, it signals that 
the upward trend is likely to continue. Entering a trade at this point allow you to capitalize on the trend from a relatively low risk position. Second entry point. The second entry point, the second times that the price touches the SMA 50 and bounce off right here, the SMA 50 confirmed the trend's strength. Entering at this point would have provided another profitable opportunities as the price continued to rise. Considering multiple moving averages, if I were to add another moving averages to this chart, such as a shorter period like SMA 20 and a longer period like SMA 100, I could use the crossover of these two moving averages as an additional signal for trade entry. Golden cross. When a shorter period moving averages crosses above a longer period moving averages, it is known as a golden cross, often signaling the beginning of a stronger upward trend. Death cross. Conversely, if the shorter period moving average crosses below the longer period moving average, it is called a death cross indicating potential bearish momentum. The second lagging indicator I'm going to talk about is moving average convergent divergence MACD. In this slide, I'm analyzing the same FRU stock chart on a daily time frame, this time using the MACD as the second lagging indicator. The MACD is a powerful lagging indicator that helps us understand market momentum and potential trend reversals. It consists of two lines, the MACD line marked with blue and the signal line orange. The crossovers between these lines serves as key signals for entering or exiting trades. Entry signal. At the two, at the two critical touch points where the price bounces off the SMA 50, the MACD line crosses above the signal lines. This crossover is a strong, a strong confirmations of upward momentum, making these points ideal for entering a trade at these two locations. Additionally, at these locations, the histogram bars changes to green below the zero line and then continue moving upward. This adds further confirmations of the trend reversal at these two points. The alignment between the MACD crossover and the price bounce of the SMA 50 reinforces the strength of the upward trend, providing a more reliable signal for trade entry. Exit signals. In other area of the chart, you may notice the MACD line crossing below the signal line. These downward crossovers indicates a potential weakening of the trend or a possible reversal, providing good opportunity to exit the trade at this location and secure profits. Conclusion The MACD much like the SMA 50, act as a lagging indicator by confirming trends after they have started. Its crossovers, particularly when they coincide with other indicators like the SMA 50, provide reliable signals for making informed trading decisions. Finally, the last lagging indicator I'm going to talk about is Bollinger Band. 
in this chart we are analyzing the same fru stock on a daily time frame using three powerful lagging indicators the sma50 magd and bollinger bands the sma50 help us identify the overall trend direction by smoothing out price fluctuations when the price consistently above the sma50 confirming the upward trend the macd complement this by providing momentum signals specifically the macd line crossing above the signal line at the key points reinforces the strength of the upward trend and signals ideal trade entry opportunities additionally when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it indicates a weakening trend, making it an ideal point to consider exiting the trade. And Bollinger Band provides a measure of volatility and potential overbought or oversold conditions. When the price approaches the lower band, and then bounce off as seen in conjunction with the SMA50 and MACD confirmations, it suggests a potential buying opportunity. Conversely, touching or crossing the upper band might indicate an overbought market, potentially signaling an exit at this locations when confirmed by MACD crossovers. Together, these indicators provide a comprehensive view of the market, allowing traders to make more informed decisions by confirming trends and identifying optimal entry and exit points. Second, I'm going to talk about leading indicators. Leading indicators are known as attempting to predict future price movement before they occur. They are believed to provide early signals of a potential trend reversal or continuations. Common examples of leading indicators are as follow. Number one, relative strength index RSI. RSI measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions. Traders can use this to enter or exit a profitable trade. Number two is stochastic oscillators. This indicator compares a securities closing price to its price range over a specific time period. It helps identify when a potential reversal points will occur number three on balance volume obv obv measures buying and selling pressure by adding or subtracting volume based on price movement it is used to confirm trends and identify potential reversals and finally, number four, moving average convergent divergence MACD. MACD indicators can also consider and be used as leading indicators when the histogram bars diverges from the price action. The first leading indicator I'm going to talk about is relative strength index RSI. Now let's discuss leading indicators which are designed to predict future price movements before they occur. In this slide, we are analyzing the WCP stock on a daily time frame with the RSI relative strength index as our leading indicator. Leading indicator like the RSI are powerful tool for anticipating market moves. They provide signals ahead of time allowing traders to position themselves before the actual price movement happens. Unlike lagging indicator which confirm trend 
after they have started leading indicators can help you catch the beginning of the trend or a spot potential reversal early on in this chart the trend was initially moving upward forming higher highs and higher lows a classic bullish pattern the rsi confirmed this upward momentum reflecting a strong buying pressure as the price made these higher highs however after the last higher high the trend began to reverse this reversal was clearly signaled by a bearish divergence in the rsi while the price continued to make a higher high the rsi began to form a lower high this divergence where the price trend and rsi move in opposite directions is a strong indicator of potential trend reversal indeed the price trend started to reverse downward as predicted by the rsi divergence this is the power of leading indicator like the rsi they give you an early warning of a possible trend changes allowing you to appear to prepare and act before the reversal becomes apparent in the price chart itself we conclude leading indicators such as rsi provide valuable insight that can help traders anticipate market moves in this example the rsi not only confirmed the strength of the initial trend but also signaled the potential reversal well in advance through divergence by paying attention by paying attention to these signals traders can gain an edge in identifying entry and exit points before the broader market catches on the second leading indicator i'm going to talk about is a stochastic in this slide we are analyzing the same WCP stock chart on a D1 time frame now using the stochastic indicators alongside the RSI as a second leading indicator. The stochastic, when combined with the RSI, offers more reliable signals for potential trade entries and exits. Previously, we identify a bearish divergence using the RSI, signaling a reversal before it occurred, providing profitable entry points. Now, by adding the stochastic, we gain a clearer view of momentum. Upward trend, when the blue K line crossing above the red D percent line this indicates a strong upward momentum confirming the uptrend and these are the location you can enter the trade downtrend or downward trend conversely when the k percent line crosses below the d percent line it signals a shift to downward momentum confirming a potential downtrend and these are the location you may exit the trade leading indicators like rsi and stochastics are valuable for their ability to signal reversals or continuations ahead of time in this wcp stock example both indicators pointed to a bearish reversal before a downtrend began enhancing the timing of trades 
using both indicators together increases signal reliability, strengthening the case for strategic trade actions and identifying the best moments to enter or exit the trade. Often bef before the broader market reacts, this approach can lead to more profitable trades and reduced risk. Finally, the last leading indicator I'm going to talk about is unbalanced volume, OBV. In this slide, I'm adding unbalanced volume, OBV indicator to the WCP stock chart on a D1 time frame, offering a powerful comparison with the RSI and stochastic indicator. Each of these leading indicators provide unique insights. RSI measures the speed and change of price movements, identifying potential overbought or oversold conditions. Stochastic evaluates momentum by comparing closing price to their range, confirming shifts in trend direction. Whereas OBV unbalanced volume link links volume flow with price movements, revealing the underlying strength or weakness of a trend. Together, these indicators create a comprehensive view of the market. By combining RSI, stochastic, and OBV, traders can gain a more holistic understanding of market dynamics, improving their ability to identify early entry and exit points and making more informed trading decisions. Conclusion As we wrap up this video on leading and lagging indicators, it is important to highlight some common characteristics and offer a few cautions. Both type of indicators provide valuable insights. First, understanding indicators. Leading indicators help predict future price movements, giving you the chance to enter or exit trade early. Lagging indicators, on the other hand, confirm trends, providing reassurance that a trend is established. Second, avoid overcrowding your charts. While using multiple indicators might seem beneficial, too many indicators can cluster your charts and lead to conflicting signals. Focus on a few well-chosen indicators that complement each other and align with your trading strategy. Avoid using too many indicators from the same class as they can be almost identical in their signals, offering little additional value. Instead, combining leading and lagging indicators will provide you with a more comprehensive understanding of trend behavior, giving you deeper insights for better trading decisions. And finally, number three, final advice. Keep your analysis simple and consistent. Understand the strength and limitation of the indicator you choose. And remember that no indicator is foolproof. Combine technical analysis with solid risk management and stay adaptable as market conditions change. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this helpful, Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for future updates. That's all, folks. If you found value in this presentation, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.